In the first nine months of 2016, Chinese investors participated in 160 U.S. tech deals totaling $3.5 billion. More money's on the way. At this recent event in Silicon Valley, the Chinese founder of education company New Oriental launched the A-plus $100 million fund to invest in U.S. tech startups. One of the main reasons I think we bring the money here to invest into Silicon Valley, because Silicon Valley has a, a a fame for you know the most brilliant you know brains ideas at the Silicon Valley platform known as InnoSpring, Chinese investors poured a hundred million dollars into its portfolio of startups last year. Startups like GLF, which makes semiconductors that power Internet of Things devices, get sixty percent of its funding from investors in China. It's pretty integral, I'll tell you that. It's very very difficult to raise funds for a semiconductor company in this valley, which is called Silicon Valley. It's kind of ironic. U.S. venture capital investments in startups have actually dropped as Chinese investments rise. Chinese investors, China in general, everybody is so competitive that we worship Silicon Valley given what Silicon Valley has done in the last 30 years. We understand our weaknesses is culturally we're not taught to be different. We're not taught to, to throw everything out like what Elon Musk has done. They have the audacity to do things differently. They create things that is impossibly to create. So we want to associate with these people and learn where we can do better. Wang says the belief that Chinese investors only want to buy U.S. tech to copy it is outdated. But China, they have ambition. They don't want to actually be the second. They don't want to keep continuously catching up. They want to have advantage over the next wave of technology innovation, which perhaps is new platform like virtual reality, uh, mixed reality, drones, um, maybe IoT, or whatever, that will become the next dominant platform. Literally just down the road, Chinese company Ying Den has opened this tech experience room. You can find everything from a personal purifier to a designer pancake maker to a levitating speaker. Ying Den is one of China's largest platforms for connecting startups to a massive supply chain and markets for their products. Half of the devices here in this experience room are part of the Yingdan ecosystem, while the other half is not. But the real idea is to show how smart devices can be a part of everyday life, like this flower plant monitor, which tells you how much moisture your plant is getting. And then there's this smarty pan, which actually talks to you and tells you when to add ingredients and what nutrition you're getting out of it. And then at the end of the day, when you're tired, just stick on the smart massager glove and let it do its work. Ying Dan is also a partner in a $50 million smart tech fund that will bring in startups to incubate right next to their showroom. We know the Silicon Valley is really the uh, innovation center of the world. So there are a lot of uh, great startups, uh, uh, creative ideas, uh, great people, uh, great talents that we want to tap into. On the other hand, for U.S. company, they need uh, to tap into China market as well. That also means jobs. We can host like uh, 40 to 50 people here. So by helping these startups you know, uh, to succeed, we can uh, bring more people, create more jobs uh, for the U.S. Jobs. Hundreds of jobs, yes. Lee expects their smart tech fund to grow and says it's highly likely they'll launch other U.S. startup funds in the near future. <laughs> Mark New, Santa Clara, California.